Fears of contracting COVID-19 have a significant impact on health care visits. Right now, few people are visiting the doctor to be screened for cancer and other illnesses. As Roxanne Elias reports tonight, you should think twice before neglecting your health. We know that COVID doesn't respect cancer. COVID has not eliminated cancer whatsoever. It's a wake up call to all. Chief Clinical Officer Dr. Kevin Casey with Mercy Health says the hospital first began to see a big dip in patient visits following COVID-19. But what we're finding is that those that are coming back are more sick, very likely because they've been delaying the care, delaying the treatments. We have stories of people who have had heart attacks and did not come to the emergency department and strokes and would not come. However, Mary Westfall, the executive director with Susan G. Komen of Northwest Ohio, says now is not the time to delay these visits. During the COVID crisis, one of the things we're realizing is that women are not taking care of themselves in the way they used to. Especially with diseases that can be prevented or treated. People should know that early detection really does make a difference. Today we know that 98% of women who are diagnosed at the earliest possible stages with breast cancer can survive this disease at the five-year point. But for those who wait too long, the consequences can be much different. Just imagine ignoring the cancer, finding it when it's in a later stage, and then maybe possibly also getting COVID at that time. It's just too much for your body to deal with efficiently. Dr. Casey says hospitals have years of experience with viruses and they're taking every precaution to keep you safe. Some of those precautions include extra sanitation, which hospitals say they were already doing, having everyone wear a mask and also having your temperature checked as soon as you walk in the door. But if you have questions or need any type of assistance, Westfall says you should reach out. There are 2 million breast cancer survivors alive today in the United States, and we know that that's because of the good work being done by many breast cancer organizations, including Komen, who are helping to save lives in that fight against breast cancer. In Toledo, Roxanne Elias, WTOL 11.